Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to implement pull to refresh in Java Android in Android Studio. And after this video, we will be able to build um, to use or to implement this um, pull to refresh, and we will be able to change this um, loading style, and we can. We can use this uh, to list view, table view, grid view, recycle view if you want, as you need. And OK, now there we go. OK, and first of all, what you need to do is to go to um, your GitHub and search for this um, library. And I will put this link in my description. And you can um, read this through, but um, in this video, I will cover um, some of this um, as short as I can. Okay, and what we need is to copy this um, dependency to add in our Gradle project. I copy it, and this is my new blank project, and I paste it right here. Yep, and I click on Sync now and and we will have a problem when we um, use this and i will show you how to fix that wait for a minute okay finish you can close this and now we will start um, to call that um, pull to refresh we can say um, com dot no this one you can see just um, enter and inside this should be a width high yeah width yeah high require you say much parent and width much parent okay and I and I did awesome um, pull to refresh okay and inside this we will have um, a list view and if you don't want to use this list view you can you um recycle view or table view if you want but um for now i will show you with um this uh, list view i said it's much parent and you will see okay and this is um our uh, errors that i said before when you try to change um, this to much pattern and it will be um, into um, this number again and this is because of um, this um, layout i don't know why but um, it is because of this layout and to fix this we need to change this constraint layout to um, relative or linear layout if you um, which one you like but um, I like um, linear and after that we are able to um, set it to much parent and it is okay we fixed it right as you can see and I, I ID this a list view say my list view like this okay and now we can um, test it okay whether it works or not but um, uh, make sure you need to um, put this um, list view or recycle view inside this to test it if you leave um, this um, layout blank if you don't have um, leave view or recycle view right here and then you will um, get errors okay and this is our layout and you can pull it down and you can see this um, icon and working right here okay and now um, it's time to code and we don't need this um, HTML anymore we can um, we will code in um, Java okay and now we need to have some um, variables is um, pool to refresh and I call it um, layout Okay, and should be um, our list view, and we will add data to this list view, and we will have um, a list to um, contain um, 
items and I call it um, this item and array adapter for um, this view our list view call it ADP right here and now I find um, control is a uh, list view layout is equal to uh, I can say um, find super ID pool to refresh and I need to cast it okay and we will um, find this leaf view is um leaf view leaf view okay and we um initialize our our list um, like this okay we delete this as well and now I could um, set adapter directly to my um, our, uh, to my list view uh, our list our, our adapter and I put um, this um, um, context and layout I use some um, default layout uh, is um, this one and I put um, our our list item right here to this as well okay and I add an um, adapter to my list view dot set adapter um, p set adapter and I now I want to have a block that we will add data to our um, our array list when I pull it down and I will add a uh, five more data so you can um, I, I will add five more items and you will see um, it, it it does work right I can say um, add more items like this and I use for loop and I will add it to my other list my list item right here dot add and I add um, I say i plus one to make it um, from one okay and after that I um, notify my adapter that the chain and I call it um, add this button right here and now test it okay as you can see um, we have five item right here and when I pull it down and I release and I need to wait for um, three seconds and then I will add um, five more data from number one to number five bottom to bottom of this five right and you can see it um, stay um, working right here forever and next time we will um, we will uh, load more data and we hide this okay okay now I will um, even um, our pull to refresh layout and I will have um, a block and call um, set even I call it like this and I create this block and this name our layout is um, pull to refresh right here okay and I set even it call um, set on refresh listener okay and enter and when you pull it down and release this block will work um, now to make sure it works or not I will um, print it out and I call it um, working and now we can test it um, when it's working, um, I would like to hide this um, hide that um, icon as you can see. And then I'm open this, and you will see working right. And but um, this icon is um, still working. And to hide this is um, just a line of code right here like this. Um, I call it um, 
yr dot set um, refreshing right here is um, the you can say false and then this will um, disappear when I um, release when I pull down and release and then it hides but you can see when I release it hide immediately but I don't want that I want to um, wait for about um, three seconds and then add them um, five more data and then um, I will hide this okay okay now we go back to our code and I will delete it uh, for now and I have a asynchronous um, task to wait for um, three seconds right I say void string string it's okay right here like this dot mm. six shoot right good and inside it we have from um, even and it is called um, do do in um, do in background right here and when it um, finish it will um, call back to another function is on post execute on um, small letter on post execute okay um, do you understand how it works um, when I um, when um, it run um, when I pull it down and release so that the um, asynchronous task will work and I need to wait right here for um, three seconds so I can do home thread dot sleep and set it to 1000 millisecond is equal to three seconds okay need a dry catch and after three seconds I need to add more data right here okay and after that I hide my loading um, icon that um, up on our list view do you remember we call it um, layout dot set refreshing equal to false and as you can see okay and oh wait it should okay it hide like this and you cannot see and so it okay Please wait for a second. Good, it is um, working. And now we have um, five um, items. And when I pull it down and release, and then this block will work, right? And then sleep for three seconds and add five more data. And we will see it um, 10 data, uh, 10 item. And I pull it down and I release. And wait for three seconds, and you can see right. And I add five more, and then I hide this. Okay, and next um, next thing we we will do is um, I will um, change this um, loading style. As you can see, that loading style I can change it to um, water drop, and I will show you next time. And okay. Okay, now uh, it's time to change this um, loading loading style, and we have um, five default option that we can um, change, and you can also um, custom by yourself. But for now, I would like to use some um, the default five options, and I want to show you, and I I have an idea that um, when I click on item one. I will change um, one star, and item two I will to change. Uh, I will change um, that um, second star and three, four, five because we have um, five star. Okay, and now I set um, Evan to my list view. I set on item click on, and okay, and I use um, switch switch. 
um, switch my adapter i um, um, my list item dot get um, index of this um, i okay oh wait i'm wrong on item click on item click it should be i okay and i have some um, five cases about um, if it is equal to one which means i click on um uh, um, on um, item that has um, take one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can copy and paste it for five time. Two, three, four, five. Okay. To change that style, we can code like this. Dot set the um, refreshing style right here. You can see, and we call them um, pull to refresh style dot uh, pull to refresh layouts dot star and then you can choose that star and for now I can say um, what a when I click on item one okay and item two um, should be um, circle item three um, uh, material item four item five the last two this and last one should be ring okay okay now we have five different and when I click and you will see it is working okay and now I click on um, item one okay and I pull it down as you can see, it is um, a new icon, okay, and it has only um, the four five star. And I click on item two, and you can see. And I click on item three. It is um, the default star. And item four. Yes, it is um, really nice. And the last one, this icon right here. Okay, and this is all what I want to show you. And I know my English is um, not good, but um, I hope you can understand what I mean. And I will try to speak as better as I can next video. And hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. See you next video and bye for now.